Welcome to another video here on Stuttering Free Diary. My name is Manolis and on this channel as usual we talk about overcoming stuttering ideas and I also share my story on how I was able to overcome stuttering and as I say, I was able to do it, so can you. In today's video we're gonna talk about letting go and moving forward. And in one of the last videos we mentioned that I, I watched a famous speaker stuttering for a few seconds a few seconds straight but he didn't get stuck there it's important it's crucial to move forward not to let something like this mess with you so at this point I would like to share with you a personal story which is a fine line between getting stuck or consciously deciding to, to get unstuck and uh, I can't stress this enough if you don't find the courage if you if you feel that there is uh, nothing to to lean on, even unconsciously, even mentally, so to say, then it's very um, there is a high probability that you will feel unmotivated and uh, feel that there is no option. There is no there is, that there is um, there is no way out. So. I remember it was 2005, I believe, and there was a normal class at school. I, I think it was the geography class, and the teacher at some point asked me to carry on with reading aloud. There was a text about some kind of a geography, history or something like that, and he asked me to move on, to carry on with reading. It was my turn to, to do it. So the pressure was building up gradually and it was, I think it was two o'clock and I had already five or six other classes on that particular day and something was uh, unexpressed inside me. Something was like uh, something that I couldn't express uh, normally, like in a natural way. So this, this steam was building up inside. So. He, the teacher asked me, oh, Manolis, could you carry on with the reading? And I remember just like starting saying, a few, uh, reading like two or three words. And the third word was very difficult. I got stuck. I couldn't get it out. I couldn't, I couldn't pronounce it uh, in a normal way. So I got quiet. I my my I, I turned my head down as if I should be ashamed or something like that and I got quiet it was very awkward because the whole class was waiting for me to carry on with the reading aloud exercise that we did so after half a minute the teacher was somehow uh, not annoyed but he didn't know how exactly to to handle the situation because uh, from my point of view, to be honest, to be like, uh, to be exact, I didn't also, I hadn't, and up until that point, I hadn't also communicated uh, to a very clear extent, degree, that I stuttered because I wasn't communicating what I was feeling. I wasn't communicating anything. So, all of a sudden, I couldn't speak. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't um, um, do the, something simple like this. So. After half a minute, he said, what's wrong with you? Like, uh, is something wrong? And I didn't speak. I got even quieter. And after that, he asked another person to carry on with the reading aloud exercise. So I even uh, today, well, when I think about that, it's very, I somehow I feel not ashamed, but it was difficult to handle. And this brings us this brings us to the to what we mentioned in the beginning of this video there is a very fine line between moving forward or and letting go of something that has happened 2 3 seconds ago or some moments ago or getting stuck so at that point if i am to to give some feedback to my past self let's say i should have taken a deep breath i could had uh, for example communicated the simple things like saying, "Oh, could you please uh, pick another stu uh, pick another pupil for me?" Uh, that would be a huge relief. Like even communicating, it doesn't have to be something very um, extraordinary or something 
very complicated, simple things to the job. So practice. I think all it takes is, pra- is practice. Communicating what we feel or, or taking a deep breath. So I hope this helps. It's, uh, it was a, this was a personal story and nowadays I realize that it's not a, it's, there is a cost to getting stuck. Like there is a saying I have mentioned in previous videos that most people do more to avoid pain than to gain pleasure. So I should have taken it as a as pleasure, as an exercise which gives me pleasure because self ex- self expression, especially when it comes to expressing ourselves orally with words, is about pleasure. It's about our inner uh, ability to to convey. Our message, what expresses us emotionally, emotionally and internally. So that was today's message. Thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.